As heads of states and leaders from the Gulf Cooperation Council met in Riyadh for their annual summit, a notable absentee was the Emir of Qatar, Doha instead opting to send a junior minister. Qatar remains under a land, air and sea blockade imposed by fellow council members Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates 18 months ago. It's a crisis that has brought into question the very existence of the GCC. Nevertheless, the Saudi king Salman bin Abdul Aziz failed to even mention it during his opening remarks, instead choosing to focus on Iran and other issues. In a time when our region is witnessing huge challenges that we all know, we face terrorism and Iranian policies. We also need to stop these countries from interfering into the internal affairs of our country. This is the second summit to take place since the blockade on Qatar began. The last one was held in Kuwait, which has been leading mediation between the two sides. On that occasion, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani attended, while the blockading nation's leaders refused to show up. And despite failing to solve the GCC crisis, Kuwait's Amir, it seems, has not given up. We have faced a lot of challenges, and on top of them there are the differences between our GCC nations. We need not to risk the interests of our peoples, the peoples of the GCC council states. The GCC must not be hesitant. We need to keep our situation firm, our stand firm, and we need to be able to face the challenges in our region. A core reason for the success of the GCC has been in its provision of free movement of people and goods between member states. With the embargo on Doha and the Council's inability to resolve the crisis, there are those that question the future of the organization. I don't think we can say confidently that the GCC is dead. I think it's more realistic to say that the GCC is dormant right now, possibly down the road when circumstances in the region change, you have different leaders in these countries, possibly the GCC will return to being a relevant institution in the Middle East, although that's certainly not possible right now given the Qatar crisis. For the average person in the GCC, very little will change as a result of this summit. The huge aspirations of a single currency, a NATO-style Gulf defense force and a railway network connecting member states that were once on the agenda of meetings like these seem like distant memories now. Instead, it would appear that simply being able to hold such a summit is seen by Saudi Arabia and others as an achievement in and of itself. Jamal Al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera, Kuwait.